Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this flight controller therapy flash tip video, we're going to be taking a look at board alignment. Let's go. Hi guys, in a previous video, I had someone ask me about board alignment. So what we're going to do is take a look at that today. So while we're at the flight controller, there's one thing we need to take attention of, and that is this arrow here. And that should point towards the front of the plane. If it doesn't, what we need to do is rotate the alignment of the flight controller so it knows what it's doing. If you don't do this, you'll have issues with stabilization. But we'll get into that later in the video. I just wanted to bring your attention to the fact that there is an arrow. And in yeah, the easiest setup situation, that's going to be pointing forwards. So these pins here at the nose of the plane, this XT60 is at the tail. So without further ado, let's plug in the USB and then we'll head over to iNav. So just before we get started with this video, I just want to ask if you find the video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. This will help other people find the video and maybe give them the advice that they need to get flying. So let's crack on. Okay, so we'll just fire up iNav configurator. And the first page we're actually going to have a look at is in the setup tab. So this basically, this box here represents your flight controller or the model if it's inside a model. So if this is flat on the desk, if your desk was dead level, this should ideally be 000. zero, zero. My desk obviously isn't level. So while we're here, a little quick tip. If you want to make sure that your flight controller is actually going in the correct orientation, the, the, the tip is to have the rear of the flight controller or the model at pointing towards you and then just click this reset Z axis icon. All that does is reposition this box in iNav. It doesn't actually change anything on the flight controller. But then whatever you do on here, you pitch the nose up, the nose should pitch up. You put the nose down, it should go down. You bank left, it should bank left, right, right. And then the yaw should also be correct. If that's all good, then you know your orientation on the flight controller is absolutely fine. But what if you want to have it sideways in the model maybe it just fits better so what you need to do is go into configuration and what we're going to do is have a look in this board and sensor alignment area and what we need to do is change the yaw because we are rotating the yaw so what you'll probably find is i'm pretty sure it's clockwise so if we rotate it this direction we want to add 270 degrees if not it'll be 90 but i'm I'm fairly sure it's 270. So now that's come back. If we go back to the setup and reset, what we should have, if we tilt that up, so remember this edge is now the nose of the plane. This is now the tail. It's all correct. So the other thing that we may want to do is actually adding a bit of pitch correction because our models, if, especially if it's a flying wing, don't actually fly dead flat. They usually have a little bit of nose up to, to keep the model going in a straight, straight line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just reset this to begin with. And I'll show you how we're going to do that in a regular configuration. So this is once again, the nose of a plane, the arrow is pointing forwards on the flight controller. So we're going to go back into setup. And what we want to do is put the, the model in the position for the slight nose up. So I'm going to put this little piece of plywood underneath just to simulate the nose up of our model. So what you can see here is we are at negative 4.3 degrees. So what we can do is go into configuration and then on the pitch, you want to put in 4.3. So I, a good value to start with is four, see how it flies. And if you need to correct it either way, you can just correct it on there. So what you want to do to test it is basically put it in manual or horizon without altitude hold. That needs to be off. Let go of a stick and see what happens. If it goes, if it climbs, you want to decrease this number slightly. And if it still goes down, you want to raise it slightly. You want it so on average, it's staying straight and level. So if we save and reboot, and then go back into the setup page. What you can see here is now, even though 
our flight controller has got a nose up, our pitch is at zero. So it thinks it's going straight and level. So that's how you do it. What I will do now is we'll put our flight controller back like this. So what we obviously would have done is have our 270 degrees in here. If we save and reboot that now, if we go back into the setup page, you'll see that our pitch and our roll are actually incorrect. So our flight controller, if we rotate it 90 or 270 degrees, we actually need to put the correction on the roll and not the pitch. This in our plane is the pitch axis, but on the flight controller, this is still the pitch axis. So what we need to do is in configurator, if we put the 4.3 on here and put that on zero, if we save and reboot, it should be about right. So we go back into setup and you can see we've got a slight down on the pitch and we've got a slight on the roll. But as I say, it's probably in my desk. But you can see basically if, if you've rotated the flight controller to correct the pitch, if you've rotated the flight controller by 90 or 270 degrees, you need to change it in the roll and not in the pitch. If this is, if the yaw degrees is at zero or 180 degrees, then you can change it in the pitch still. So that is basically board alignment. So there's not really much more to say other than if you want to adjust it in flight, the easiest way is to check out my other video where I show how to set up in flight ad adjustments where you can adjust PIDs, all sorts in flight using your transmitters, trim tabs. And what you can do is put your board pitch and roll alignment on there so you can get it flying dead level while you're flying the plane. It's so much easier. Just when you get down on the ground, just remember to save it. Otherwise, you'll lose the settings. Right. So before we end this video, I want to take a brief moment to mention my friend Mark Hoffman's video where he illustrates the importance of actually getting the board pitch alignment correct. If you're flying for quite a while, the a, a small difference like three degrees can make quite a difference in altitude so especially if you're a long range pilot you want to get this bang on so what i'm going to do is put a link up to mark's video where you can watch his explanation of why you really want to get this um level and your flight controller will thank you immensely but i think that's it for today guys so if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. This will help YouTube get this video out to more people and help them out. Because uh, that's at the end of the day why, why we do all this stuff is to help people out. So thank you for watching. Fly your models like you stole them. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.